Good morning, Monroe Junior High. This is Mr. Longyear, your friendly choir director, here to give you the morning announcements. Mr. Stanger's feeling a little under the weather, so I'm going to be reading the announcements for him this morning. Today is Tuesday, February 15th. Hope you all had a fantastic Valentine's Day yesterday, or Palentine's or Galentine's, however you celebrate. I hope you had a fantastic day. First announcement is please do not touch other people's property posted to their lockers. This includes the heart notes that are taped to the outside of the locker. If it's not yours, leave it alone. All those hearts that people made for each other, people want to see those. Don't tear them down. Monroe Junior High Staff of the Week goes to Mrs. DeLay. Mrs. DeLay is fantastic. We love her. Congratulations, Mrs. DeLay, on getting Staff Member of the Week. Enjoy that parking spot. Congratulations to our eighth grade girls basketball team. They finished second place in the Southwestern Buckeye League last evening. The team only had two losses. Wow, that's impressive, ladies. Well done. For their entire season, you have made us all very proud. We're very excited for you. Congratulations on that fantastic victory. Today also is Mr. C. Manning's birthday. So stop in his room and give him a big happy birthday. Or you could sing to him. All those choir students with those lovely vocals, you can all sing to Mr. Manning today. Happy birthday, Mr. Manning. Hornet Point Leadership Board. Oh, boy. Hold on. I'm trying to get my mouse here. There it is. All right. Hornet Point Leadership Board. Let's see who's winning this week. Mr. A. Manning with 531 Hornet Points. That is just fantastic. Mrs. Sharkey, 391. Ooh, there's quite a big gap there. Let's see if we can fill that in this week. Mr. A. Manning needs some uh, healthy competition up there. And as we scroll down, oof. Oh, Mr. Longyear's Hornet time, hive time. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. 140. We got to bump those up a little bit. Mrs. Lamping, Mrs. Boggs, and Mrs. Jeffers. Oof. 27? Yikes. Oof. Mrs. Jeffers, I challenge your hive this week to get at least 50 Hornet points. At least 50. That's possible. Everyone fills out their planners this week. I know I give my hive time um, a Hornet point if they can fill out their planner for the week. That's an easy um, 25 Hornet points right there. Come on, we can do that. All right. Going back to... The announcements, eighth grade students in Hive today, we will be completing the Making Middle Grades Work Survey. It will be completed in Hive today, and it must be completed in Hive today. Instructions slash the survey will be emailed out today at 11 a.m. And as we are celebrating Black History Month, today's topic is the Freedom Riders. Freedom Riders were civil rights activists who rode interstate buses into the segregated southern United States in 1961 and subsequent years to challenge the non-enforcement of the United States Supreme Court decision for Morgan versus Virginia, which took place in 1946, and Boynton versus Virginia in 1960. Boynton outlawed racial segregation in the restaurants and, waited, and waiting rooms and terminals serving buses that crossed state lines. In the Morgan case, the United States Supreme Court ruled 7-1 that Virginia state law enforcing segregation on interstate buses was unconstitutional, yet many police members and KKK members attacked the Freedom Riders in the South with no arrest being made. So that is your um, fact on Black History Month for today. I believe that is all the announcements we have today. So I hope you all have a great day here in Hornet Country, and I or someone will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.